I think we'll move on to the next one. Uh, diabetic nephropathy among the patients in the diabetic clinic of the Colombo South Teaching Hospital. Um, if the presenting author is Ms. M. W. N. Nisansala. She's a nursing officer at the General Hospital Sri Jawadanapura. So may I invite Ms. Nisansala to make a presentation? Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my topic for today is diabetic neuropathy among the patients attending the diabetic clinic of the Colombo South Teaching Hospital. Diabetic neuropathy is the presence of signs and symptoms of peripheral nerve dysfunction in people with diabetes after exclusion of other causes. Uh, di diabetic neuropathy is the most common uh, complication of diabetes uh, and it presents in both types of diabetes. Um, Peripheral neuropathy is associated with increased foot ulceration and lower limb amputation. Uh, therefore, early diagnosis is vital. Uh, objectives of my study is to determine the proportion of diabetic neuropathy among the patients presenting to the diabetic clinic of the Colombo South Teaching Hospital, uh, to assess their knowledge on prevention of foot diseases, and to determine the association between the glycemic control and diabetic neuropathy. Uh, we, conducted our, uh, we conducted descriptive cross-sectional study among 384 subjects diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mellitus um, attending to the diabetic clinic of the Colombo South Teaching Hospital. Uh, we used systematic random sampling method and these are our inclusion and exclusion criteria. Interv uh, we used interview administered questionnaire and examination as our data collection method. Uh, it consisted of uh, three sections. Uh, section E A is uh, socio personal data and body composition data. Uh, section B is the most important part of our uh, in questionnaire. It consisted of Michigan Neuropathy Screening Instrument, Diabetic Neuropathy Index, and the Monofilament Test. Uh, section C is questionnaire to assess the foot care practices and we use the uh, SPSS 16 version as our data analysis source. Michigan Neuropathy Screening Instrument consisted of 15 questions uh, which assess the following parameters and diabetic neuropathy index uh, included in examination of feet uh, assess the f uh, following parameters. Uh, monofilament test was conducted in uh, 10 points in each foot on the dorsal and uh, plant aspects of the each foot. Criteria for diagnosis of diabetic neuropathy, score of more than 4 in the Michigan Neuropathy Screening Instrument Questionnaire, a score of more than 2.5 in the Diabetic Neuropathy Index, and the less than 7 uh, responses from each foot in monofilament test. Diabetic neuropathy was confirmed by a positive score of two of the above three tests. Mean baseline characteristics of the population. There are more females in the, uh, than the ma males in our study. Uh, BMI was significantly higher among the female more than males, but the waist hip ratio is significantly lower among the females than males. Clinical examination test results of the population. Over 65% of the population ha had, had the positive uh, MN, uh, Michigan Neuropathy Screening Instrument score. 45% uh, uh, of the population uh, had the two tests positive. That means we diagnosed 45.6% of the population as they are having diabetic neuropathy. Uh, but only 16% of the patients had been previously diagnosed with neuropathy uh, according to their clinical records. Uh, when we uh, compared neuropathy group with the non-neuropathy group, uh, duration of diabetes and the postprandial blood sugar levels uh, significantly higher among the uh, neuropathy group when compared with the non-neuropathy group. 
uh, we assess the association between neuropathy score and uh, some selected parameters according to uh, that uh, duration of diabetes and the postprandial blood sugar levels correlated with the diabetes uh, correlated with the neuropathy. Uh, good foot care practices scored more than 12 points in the foot care questionnaire. 37% uh, of the study population had good foot care practices. Uh, good foot care practices were better amongst the females more than the males in our study. Conclusions of our study, Michigan Neuropathy Screening Instrument and the Diabetic Neuropathy Index were the most useful in the diagnosis of diabetic neuropathy. Uh, the study showed higher frequency of neuropathy than the previous studies conducted in Sri Lanka. Uh, study highlights that food care practices are not adequate amongst the uh, study subjects. Uh, the neuropathy indices correlated with postprandial blood sugar level. Therefore, regular measurements of postprandial blood, uh, blood sugar should be implemented among the diabetic patients. Mm, recommendations of our study. Michigan Neuropathy Screening Instrument can be used as a screening tool in the outpatient setting in Sri Lanka. As Michigan Neuropathy Screening Instrument is a brief screening instrument, several diabetic neuropathy screening trained nurses should be available to regularly screen the diabetic patients in the diabetic clinic. All diabetic patients should be screened annually for neuropathy in Sri Lanka as recommended by the American Diabetes Association. Uh, health education programs for diabetic patients should be conducted to increase the awareness of high prevalence of the uh, diabetic neuropathy and about the proper food care practices. Uh, the study can be further extended to assess nerve conduction study of both lower limbs for earlier diagnosis. Mm, I gratefully acknowledge the academic staff of uh, BSc nursing program of uh, my faculty and consultant endocrinologist and all the nursing staff of the diabetic clinic of the Columbus South Teaching Hospital and finally all the participants. Uh, these are some of my references. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Ansala, for that very interesting presentation on an important area which is often neglected in diabetic care. So thank you very much.